Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe file. We're going to jump in again and I'm just going to go as Tainted Maggie because I think she's fun and I want to have just a really chill, nice and easy run. Um, just because I've just got back from my holiday, um, as you many of you may know already um, from the previous episodes, I went to Venice for my 10 year anniversary with my girlfriend and we got engaged, which was pretty lovely. Uh, so I am now, I am now engaged, which is pretty awesome. It's cool. Um, uh, ooh, hello. These chests could be intriguing. Um, I, I don't want to kill myself, but at the same time I will if I have to. Um, <laughs> I will if I have to. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Yes. Okay. Caltrops is not bad. We got a bunch of pills here. I'm sure to take them all and see what happens. We got petrified poop as well. Ooh, honestly, HP up tears down. Hell yeah. Um, petrified poop or caltrop? I think I'm gonna go with. Is it caltrop? Is that what it's called? No, it's callus. What, what the hell's caltrop? That that isn't caltrop like some sort of ninja thing. Isn't it some sort of like thrown weapon? <laughs> okay, don't know where I've got that from, but yeah. So I had a rather nice time. Um, Venice was just the absolute best. It was uh, it was a very very enjoyable holiday. Uh, also as well, um, I just want to quickly check my EID. Um, okay, on this safe file it's fine. Basically, on the other safe file I've seen a few people say that it's too small. Um, so I need to make sure to change the size of it. Which I don't know if I can do here. Let, let me have a look. Display. Is it visuals? Yeah, text size. So I think I think my last one I've got it at like 0 0.5. I think I need it at like 0 0.75 like that. I think that'll be uh, a little more a little more easy to utilize and uh, visualize for a few of you guys that maybe didn't think it was quite easy enough to see. Because I kind of forget that obviously on the video it's a bit smaller. But yeah, so Venice was just great. I mean, like... We we basically went for the food. <laughs> Venice itself is just really nice, but I am big into my food, so we the, the the food was was definitely one of the main reasons that we uh that we ended up going. Um, and I will tell you, I had a lot of food, and it was very good. <laughs> I had a very large amount of food. Um, and yeah, it was it was really good. Uh, so. On the first night that we were there, we actually had a really weird thing with our hotel, to be honest. We, we booked a hotel and we got there, and it was an Airbnb, which is weird because we booked a hotel. Um, and it had, like, a bunch of different amenities listed that just didn't exist. Um, so, like, one was really weird. It had an, it had an iron to, to iron your clothes, but no ironing board. So we had to iron on the bed, which obviously wasn't ideal. Also, another HP up here. Very useful. Uh, I'm just going to do the see, I'm gonna do the judgment and see what we get. I wasn't, wasn't hoping for that, really, but there you go. Uh, depending on Isaac's speed set. Why does the, the text look a bit funky? I need to I need to go in and have a, a little look. Also, it's pretty good, though, that. Visuals. Um... Wait, what? No. Um... It looks a bit scrunkly. I don't know, it doesn't look right. It looks better like that. Oh my god. I guess I'll just leave it like that for now. It's it's a little large, but eh, whatever. We can, we're kind of used to it. This is a very good item to get. Very good item to get indeed. Um, Yeah. So the first day that we were there, like, we had these issues with our hotel. Like, one of the other things is we booked it specifically because it had a jacuzzi. It just didn't. We we messaged the, uh, the the person that like showed us to our room, and we were like, "Hey, you said it has a jacuzzi, and it doesn't." And he was like, "It has a hot shower." And we're like, "Well, well you fucking herp, sir. <laughs> like, goddamn, you'd herp it has a shower, right?" Uh, so that was a bit annoying. Um, but, it, it, like, me, me and Katie, we aren't really that big into, like, material things, so it wasn't that bothered. It, it was only a place to stay, so it was, it was whatever. Um, it was a little disappointing, but at the end of the day, I'm not gonna cry about it, it was fine. Uh, but then, yeah, like, we, we'd found a place, like, right next to where we're staying, because we actually stayed on the mainland, we'd actually stay in Venice. Um, we stayed on the mainland, and, um... We'd had a little look at, like, restaurants and stuff that were nearby, and we found one that people basically were like, one sec, sorry, I thought I heard something, I did not. Um, 
We'd found one that people were basically like, hey, this is really hidden away and doesn't seem very good from the outside, but they were like, trust us, fucking try it. Um, and it was very, very good. It was very, very good. Also, intriguing, intriguing item to get there. Uh, yeah, I got this, um, I got this amazing, uh, pa like, it was like a bacon, bacon pasta, and oh man, it was, it was all manners of, of amazing. Also, I am gonna go back into the, uh, cash room here and pay this man some, some dues. Come on, man. Don't be like this. I said don't be like this. God damn it. Okay. I am going to have to use my book at some point, I think. I kind of don't want to yet, though. Right. There's a heart there. That's fine. Oh, that lost me my devil deal. God damn it. I didn't realize I'd uh, stoop so low in my HP penis. It's not a right, not, not not the right way to say that at all. Um, but yeah, so we went to this place and uh, Katie, she got like this pesto gnocchi that was really good. And I got this like bacon sort of meat ragu pasta. And it was just phenomenal. Like just unbelievably good. Um, and so we're like, well, literally that was within like an hour of arriving. We're like, okay, so far, so good. Um, we, we've, we've definitely set ourselves up for a... A good few days of eating. Um, and then, yeah, the, the, the next day was actually our 10-year anniversary and the proposal day. Um, so we, like, really... I, like, I'm not a person to splash cash at all. I, I'm, I'm very, very rarely. But also, it was like, this is literally a once-in-a-lifetime thing for us. Like, we're never going to have a 10-year anniversary and we're never going to get engaged again. So I was like, why not just go for it? Why not just splash a bit of cash? And we went to a very, very posh restaurant. The, yeah, it was probably quite overpriced, but my god, it was goddamn amazing. It was so good. Um, I got this um, this lobster, this pasta with lobster with like a lobster bisque sauce, and oh my god! And Katie got a filet mignon um, steak, and it was literally the best steak I've ever tasted in my entire life. It was it was incredible. Um, what's this? There's like a little blue bit on this. Okay, there's just a card there. Spawns a glitched item. Oh, hell. Isaac, this is down oh, hell. Silly. Isaac, this is downright silly. Heart containers heal 0.5 hearts. Grants Tony. Isn't Tony really good for us? When clearing a room, converts all enemy pro uh, projectiles in the room to pick up. Whoa. This could be pretty insane. <laughs> and I, I want to check what this is. This will be um, Tech Zero, but I don't know what I'll tail into. Tears and bombs um, will be connected to you with a beam of electricity. Oh, interesting. We'll give that a go. I can't take the second one, unfortunately. Right. Intriguing. Intriguing indeed. Uh, let's let's continue on and see how this goes. But I'm I'm very interested by all enemy tears on room clear turn into pickup. That seems very spicy. But also all the extra heart containers and Tony. Tony's very good. It's literally melee-centric, so... More HP. I mean, don't mind if I diddly do. I'll, I'll also, to be fair, check this out in case there's anything truly incredible. Do you know what? It's pretty good. Um, some good stuff there. I think I'm definitely going to take that. And then... Honestly, I'm going to take that too. Like, there's a lot of HP to trade away, but there's some good stuff. And damage is, is very nice for us with our fists. Um, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited by the prospects of the build we have before, before us. What's, what's the deal with this? Okay. Not exactly what I was expecting there, but there you go. Ah, you locked the door on me. Also, Curse of Darkness plus the, uh, the purpleness of what we've got going on right now is, uh, a bit insane. Oh, dude. This is very nice. <laughs> we get fists of fury every time we get hit. It's beautiful. Okay. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. I, I do apologize that it is, like, so unbelievably dark right now. Um, But, yeah, so we, we, ha we had that on our anniversary day, and that was, that was really, really nice. Um... But then the day after, so my girlfriend had been to Venice before with work, and she remembered there was this place that they called the Bra Bar, which is kind of 
so like probably what you're imagining. It was just a bar that was covered in bras. Um, oh, there you go. We got a bunch of pickups there. Um, it was just a bar that was covered in bras. Um, and she'd be there before. I said it was really good. So we went there and had some cocktails and stuff. It was very very nice. But then we went about like one two o'clock. Uh, but then a bunch of uh, well, I have to say a bunch, a couple, an American couple came in. Uh, they, were, they, were, they were in their like mid sixties. Um. And we just kind of got to chatting with them, and we ended up spending, like, the entire evening with them. And it was really nice, until I, um, I got quite, and by quite, I mean ridiculously drunk. Um, and we went out for food, apparently. I don't remember this. Um, but we went out for food, we went out and got a meal, um, and I was found hanging over the sink, throwing up in the women's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know how I ended up there, but it happened. <laughs> uh, but either way, I had a thoroughly enjoyable evening. I just just hope that they weren't too put off um, by my drunken antics. But they did also know that we got engaged the night before, so they were probably somewhat expecting at least one of us to get slaughtered. Although then again, I feel like Americans don't really drink like Brits do. Especially people in their 60s. <laughs> so maybe they weren't expecting it, I don't know, but... I enjoyed myself. <laughs> I know that. And apparently, I got a lasagna when we went for food, and I got to bring it home with me, and I drunkenly ate it at, like, 2 a.m. over the bed. Like, how while hanging off of the side of the bed, it was very enjoyable. <laughs> it was very enjoyable indeed. Um, so, I, yeah, I had a really good day. And then, ooh, last day there, or last full day there, at least, because we were there on Friday, but we had to leave at, like, 9 a.m. So the last full day there on Thursday, I... Um, we went under the Rialto Bridge, which is where I proposed, um, which is like the, the main big bridge in Venice. Um, we went like to, to one of the restaurants, like sort of under the Rialto Bridge, and I got uh, one of, something that I've been wanting for the longest time. I got um, a like a pasta dish. Oh my god. I got a pasta dish where they actually just cook it in a pasta wheel. They, they cook the whole thing. It's, it, it's literally just... It's called... Um, chow Pepe? Chow, chow e Pepe? I believe is the meal. Which basically just translates to cheese and pepper. And it was exactly that. It was cheese and pepper. And it was the best cheese and pepper I've ever eaten. It was so goddamn good. Also as well, for on that same meal... It was a very cheesy meal. For my starter... We were trying to sort of work out what to get for starters. And there was one that was just called grilled cheese. And I was like, that's obviously not a grilled cheese sandwich. Like, I don't know what they mean by grilled cheese, but it's obviously not what we understand grilled cheese to be. So I was like, I'm going to get it and just see what it is. And it was literally just a block of grilled cheese. And I mean a block, like a block of cheese. And it was very nice. <laughs> I ate the whole thing. Um, and then proceeded to eat the cheesiest pasta I've ever eaten. So I was very, very cheesed out. It was, it was amazing. It was just an overall really, really good holiday. I really, really enjoyed myself. But yes, I am now affianced. Ow. How dare you step to me. I like the way it connects the bombs as well, that's nice. Upgrades batteries in the room to their next tier. Strange, but interesting. Kind of like the idea of that. Spawns an unprimed gigabomb. Why not? And then... Moon. Just some cheeky little bombs, is it? Just some cheeky little bombs. I don't want to use my bomb at the moment, because I do have an unprimed gigabomb that I would end up wasting if I popped it for no reason there. Obviously, we're taking that. <laughs> Obviously, we're taking that. And do you know why? Okay, there's there's two reasons why. One, we're already taking a boatload of damage. Why not add to it? But, this technology item connects bombs with lasers. I feel like that could be a pretty lucrative little synergy we got going on there. Apparently, I can't get hit if I wanted to. Yes, it works exactly as expected. So, yeah, now, whenever we get hit, we just create a ton of lasers all around the room connecting us. Good deal, a lot of damage. Holy shit. 
This turning tears into a uh, pickups thing is it's pretty good. Pretty good. Can we stop it with the troll bombs, please? Holy shit. So many troll bombs, man. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fucking wild. Oh man, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. We got two of diamonds. We got two of hearts. We got an Emperor card here. Let's go do the boss and we'll come back for the shop, I think. Yeah. This is an absolutely wild run. Again, so it gives a random smelted worm or bug trinket. Smelts only worm or bug trinkets. Okay, there's one back there, so we can do that. We got a ringworm. Um, devil deal here. Chance to shoot tears um, with increased damage that add charge to your active item after doing enough damage. Damage need uh, needed per charge increases. Ooh, like that sounds kind of interesting. I'm down to clown with that. Um, I'm down to clown with you as well, small child. Which is a sentence probably shouldn't say too often. Um, right, you as well. Beautiful stuff, baby. Beautiful stuff. Oh, dude. Ringworm might actually be real good for us. And then it was sh we should auto-smelt this. I'm picking it up, right? Yeah, that's a really cool item idea. I like that. Right. Head on back now, y'all. There's <laughs> some wild shenanigans going on now. I like it. And we've got good range as well, so the tears stay in the air for a decent amount of time. I think this is, like, a really fun run to come back to, to be honest. Really fun. There's, there's just a lot going on. This this character, just... I just love it. This character is just so good. Right, item room. We got the good old bed bug. Cool. I like that. Oh, I have to kill this thing, apparently. I don't actually care for you, I don't think, but... Where art thou shoppeth? Okay, you're gonna teleport to me one second, I need to sneeze. Okay, I couldn't sneeze. I tried. It's gonna come at some point, I know it is. It's gonna sneak up on us. Right, fire at me and then let me kill you. There you go. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Wow. Hello. Unfortunately, you're not what I wanted, but whatever. Probably don't need this money at this point, but... Oh, hello. Actually. This is not bad at all. This is exactly the sort of thing we needed. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to just go for it and see what we got. We got a bunch of HP ups. I like that. Speed ups also nice. Range is getting even higher. I like that too. I'm probably going to keep this to be honest. I don't really care for the book right now. More speed up. And honestly, I'm just going to pop the Emperor card to get out of this floor quicker. <laughs> it's lazy, but it's done. Okay. Let us go. We got another Emperor card here anyways, so it all worked out. See? It all worked out. Okay. Very happy with how the prospects of this run are. This this run's a lot of fun. Let's get to smacking. Let's get to punching. Let's get to the eternal heart that I'm going to leave on the floor so I don't accidentally destroy it immediately. Oh man. I like this. I'm hoping I can get more money and then it gets becomes even better here. Oh my god. Took a lot of damage there, but we've got Yum Heart to keep us going, so that doesn't matter. Yum Heart will always be there for us. Yeah, it's also just nice to be back Isaacing. Of course, I, I backlogged for like a week, 
Um, and then, and then we came back. Okay, they can turn into items. That is, uh, that is news to us. Some more HP there. What a, what a wild glitched item we got here. What a wild glitched item. What you got for us? Oh, yes, another one of you. I'm so down to clown with this. I would take that, because I do want the money, but at the same time, I do think it's probably better to keep our luck right now with the items we've got. Tears. Probably want to take that at this point. Although, we're kind of almost full on red hearts, so maybe, maybe not. Do you know what? We've got plenty of keys. Let's take that. <laughs> Let's take that, shall we? I think that works. Grab that extra life as well. Why not? This is... Kind of insane. We got a random mallet there, and, and there you go, our first eternal chest. Although this room is kind of horrible for this, to be honest. Not a fan. Not a fan. What boss are we on? Depth one. Dude, we got another one? Okay, this this uh, this trinket's doing some better work than I expected. Especially why we've got a golden key, I like that. Can we not? Oh, I forgot about the Gigabomb. Sextant. I think I'm okay. Thank you for the sextant. Why not with the onk? Why not? More range. Again, don't mind if I do. <laughs> this is this is beautiful. I very much like this. Right. Let's go back and see if what we can find. The mallet is pretty good, to be honest. The mallet is pretty good. But I think we're happy with what we got going on right now. Damn it, there were so many tears in the air then, and I wasn't able to finish the room while they were still in the air. I think some of my tears can go through walls and, like, stay around... Um, yeah, that seems interesting with the amount of pickups we're potentially able to spawn here. I think that could be fun. We've got a lot of creep going on as well, by the way. Honestly, mountain, like I said, this would be a good place to get hit. Dude, another one. Oh my god, we got inner child straight away. Secret room, baby. Yes, please. Another item. Necronomicon. Do we want Necronomicon? I think I still want to keep this, to be honest. The amount of money we're potentially able to get seems to be a good driving force for this thing. There you go. Dude, the tears just hang around for so long now. We've, 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 we've achieved something beautiful with the amount of range we now have. I just need more enemies that spawn tears so I can get a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I'm not getting a whole lot of that right now. Not many room uh, enemies that fire. I mean, bosses are probably the best for it. I bet there's quite a few bosses that I can get some absolute, like, amazing prizes from. We've seen our item room, we've seen our shop. We're good to go. We are good to go. The next floor awaits. The good thing is as well, like, this has set us up really well for, the, like, the wound floors and stuff. Like, we have really good damage outside of just hitting enemies directly with our melee. So we've set ourselves up in a good way, I think. Right. Down we go. Down we go. This is the welcome back to Isaac that I was hoping for. Straight in here. Hey, we got another tumor. That's kind of what I was hoping for as well, to just be able to, like, get a ton of tumors. Oh, this is... This is gonna be wild. No, oh, I wasn't as wild as I was hoping. Ah, goddammit. It wasn't anywhere near as wild as I was hoping. 
Okay, the burn segments are like not very helpful. Keep pushing enemies away from me. Oh, I lost one of my tumor buddies. I didn't know you were there. My tumor buddy. I'm sorry, friend. I just wanted to grow you into a big boy, but you disappeared on me. I don't think I need more keys, really. I think I'll be okay. Most enemies just get decimated. We actually got the Eternal D6 here. Wow. Okay, I think I'll take that at this point. Hope for the best. Got Bookworm there. Nice. Wasn't expecting Bookworm. I don't know what my third book was. I got Necronomicon. What was the other one? I do not know. Right. Item room. What do you hold for me? Oh, also very nice. Getting some good stuff here, right? Go back and reroll the book again. We're getting some very tasty stuff right now. Very tasty stuff. Libra? Nah, that'll be too much of a range down. Like, I actually think I need my range to be high, and it'll that'll decimate my range. It'll give me a good... I think it'll give me, like, really good damage and stuff, to be honest. But I'd, I'd kind of rather have the uh, thingy right now. Come on, enemies. Fire more shit on death, please. I just want to turn everything you hold into pickups. Right, one. It's going to be rough. Two. God damn it. Three. God damn it. Scary heart. Another tumor. Okay, that didn't really unfortunately give us much of anything, so that's that was a bit of a shame. Well, let's keep it going. You see what I mean? Then there was a ton of stuff in the air, then I didn't quite get it. My tumor buddy's getting close to growing up. Oh, tu apparently the hearts that drop from enemies killed can also give us tumors too. The game's taunting me now. The game is taunting me. Didn't even manage to get into those hearts there, really. Pop my yum heart again. I've got a bunch of extra lives at the minute as well. There's a bunch of these guys. Oh, there you go. A look penny is a, is a rather nice addition to what we've got going on. We got an unprimed gigabomb once again. Apparently it just wants us to have those all the time for making uh, terrible mistakes. And then whereabouts are we actually going here? Okay, there you go. I'm very confused where the boss room was, but was actually this way. Tumor, thank you. Yeah, we can just get out of here, can't we? It's boss time, baby. We got a something wicked error from killing you. Grab that, thanks. And we'll re uh, refresh both of those. Honestly, both of them are decent. I'll take them both. Let's go. This has been just amazing. We got a bunch of tumors. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we'll get a lot more pickups here. There'll be a lot more enemies firing tears on room clears. There you go, baby. <laughs> I was waiting for that enemy. I was waiting for him. Doubles our keys, don't mind if I diddly do. Right, let's check what's go going on down here. <clears throat> Is there anything of value down here? I don't really want to, I don't really care to find out. That, 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 that seems like a lot of effort. Yum, heart up, why not? Oh, kind of forgot about you, hand. 
We got a secret room there as well. Feel like we, we were an unable of not finding the secret room now. It just comes to us so easily. Boom bow. I love the fact that we get chests so often. Ooh. Toy boxes work now? Yes, it does. Purist, Lucky Charm, Faulty Fuse, Funky Boys. I don't actually know what any of those do, uh, but I'll take them. Oh, two Eternal. Oh, my lord. Two Eternal chests with golden keys as well. We could get some absolute loot here. Um... I actually don't think I want that, to be honest. Don't think I want plus three broken hearts, really. As good as the item can be. It also should give you more pair broken heart, I really think. That's the sort of thing we like. Bit of flight. Bit of flight. Where the hell did you come from? I'm guessing... Oh, oopsie. I'm guessing that's one of the trinkets we got smelted, uh, creating those. Alright, just step into my laser. Apparently there's more of you now. Step into my laser web, please. Lovely stuff. Right. Boss, where art thou? Again, not much in terms of consumables there. Oh, hello. You are looking a bit different than you used to. He's looking a bit more scrunkly, but give him the benefit of the doubt and we'll keep moving on. I should have waited till those hearts did their thing. Those hearts can produce quite a lot of tears. Kind of forgetting sort of when to use things. A little bit hard to use this chest effectively when we've got uh, a ton of stuff going on with bombs. At least the bombs don't destroy the chest, which would be weird, but still. Not exactly what I was hoping to get there. But we did get another tumor boy. Again, not much of anything there. Hey, that's a good room for us. The amount of eternal chests is wild. Tumor Boy coming with us again. We've got a lot of money again, so this uh, taking this active item wasn't the best idea. Should have stuck with that little stuck with that other one. Oh, this is a good one actually. Right, let's not kill all of these guys. Let's kill some of these dudes first. Okay, no, he he perished to something unknown. One of my lasers got him. We do not know which. Ooh, hello. Right, quickly just grab that, see what's in here. Thank you for not screwing me, copper bombs. Honestly, just find a good place to pop this straight away, I think. Again, enemies I could have left. Beautiful. Bested. Well, hello. Wasn't expecting you guys. Bit of conquest. Not ideal. I'll take this for the luck increase. That looks actually pretty good right now. Right, down we go. Don't know why I'm going to use my soul of Kanon. Probably a wall. I'm not sure which one. We're we'll taking it a little bit slower now, because we can't melee everything, but I think we're still absolutely fine here. I think with this run, we kind of have it in the bag. Oops, hello. That one was a trinket. Most rooms are just getting decimated in, like, one go. Yet another one of these. It's a 33% chance to change a golden chest, and we've been getting, like, very, very lucky. Oh, 
Tumor Boy there for us with the lovers. We've been getting very, very lucky. That's just money. We don't really care about that. That was a good one. Oh, wait, no. Apparently those tears got destroyed before we managed to get to them. Excuse me. With all the hits there. Um, did I manage to drop a trinket there? What happened? Hunky boys. Well, hell, pressing the drop trinket button immediately drops his trinket. You don't need to hold the button while you're at... Um, when on the ground, enemies will target the trinket for a short time. Okay. Interesting, but we don't really need that. Right. Unfortunately, the death animation is going to take so long that... Ah, oh, like I say, we won't get much. We got quite a lot. We got quite a lot. Keep on opening this bad boy until it gives no more. I will go and do Hush as well, actually, because just why not? So many copper bombs. We must have something that's in... Like, I think I think that fuse trinket is making copper bombs way more common. Right, down we go. Boom, bow. Oh, another tumor, thank you. Okay, item wise, we've got. Taking damage response to a projectile. Honestly, leprosy isn't a bad idea. I think I'll take. I take a lot of damage, so leprosy is not too bad. That's really good, we'll take that. And then shop wise, what we got going on? Pot of gold. Pot of gold is good. We do like pot of gold. Um. I don't know if it'll be better though. But we've got plenty of plenty of stuff left, so let's just take it and see what happens. Right. Let us go and destroy us this big boy. Oh god, yeah, the fists do quite a bit of damage. My hope is that we can just decimate him while there's tons of tears on the screen. And get, like, an unbelievable amount of loot. I should also just be, like, popping up my, my, my copper bombs, like, left, right, and center here. Actually, to know copper bombs, I've just realized copper bombs ain't bad. Because if they don't destroy, we just have a permanent laser fixture there. That's not not a bad thing at all. I didn't even think about that. That's, a, that's an interesting little synergy we've got going on there. The more pop copper bombs that don't pop, the better. A, a mighty amount of hearts you've got there, game. Although sometimes that'll happen and it'll pop all of them. But I think I think we're basically fine now. Also, the knockback has uh, has allowed us to just kind of keep him very much settled in that corner. Very much settled. Okay. Don't exactly know what's going on with him right now. I'm just going to keep on playing and ignore everything that's happening. Grab some hearts here. Refill, so to say. Come on, please please get a bunch of tears on screen before we kill you by accident. He's not going to, is he? This isn't exactly a lot, but it's enough. Ah, wait, it didn't even work anyways because of the death animation. You! You little fool. Um, Yeah, why not just go straight for Void at this point? It seems like a fun way to do Void, doesn't it? Seems like a fun way to do Void indeed. One second. Right, let's continue on. We should be able to absolutely rinse through Void here. I don't think we have many issues ahead of us. And we should hopefully get quite a lot of different consumables here. Oops, Melty Trinket, thank you. I love the fact that one of the trinkets just smelts your uh, current trinket. That's insanely good. Chest and a chest. 
That could be kind of good. Let's see what we get. Unfortunately, not very good at all. It's gone. Yeah, that was kind of useless to us. We do have a shop here, though, which I wasn't expecting. What's in the shop? What's in the shop? We'll take this. Um. Okay, it only works when entering a new floor, so not super good for right now. Ooh. We've got some glowing pots here. Quickly go back. Oh, we've got our secret room there. We can reroll this again into exactly nothing. Lovely. Hey, piggy. Bunch of spinny pennies you got for us there. I don't exactly need them, but thank you. Oh, hello. I will play you to my heart's content, I think. So far, you've not been great, my guy. You've not been great. Right, let's get out of here. Holy shit. What happened then? I genuinely have no idea what happened there, but... It were good. I don't know what had all those projectiles, but... Got a guppy item in there. Oh my god. There's a cares penny apparently as well. Nice. <laughs> that was wild. It was wild and I very much enjoyed it. So some enemies are going to do that apparently, where they just explode into a ton of things. We'll be prepared for that. Lots of pennies, of course. Lots of pennies. I really wish I was still stuck with the, um, the thing that gives us like stat ups and stuff. Because our stats could be absolutely wild right now. If I'd have just taken that instead. The amount of money that we've got coming in. With like pot of gold and stuff. It's mental. What up, heart? You old news now, heart. I feel like this, this, like, ability we've got going on here with, um... This ability we've got going on here... It kind of feels like it should be an item. Like, obviously it shouldn't be this strong. But, like, I love this idea of, like... Enemies that leave tears behind, can, it can turn them into stuff. Oh, really? We get Delirium straight away. Obviously, no, I didn't want to do that. Why am I not taking contact damage there? That was a bit strange. You didn't let me fist you. Why didn't you let me fish you? So rude. I'm not getting a lot of opportunities to fist. And that's a bit, a bit horrible. Maybe, maybe Tony's on a cooldown. There's a lot of bombs about. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of troll bombs going on here. Do you know what would be really good here? Having like Enigma bombs or Glitter bombs in the mix. That would be, that would be truly something. I'm trying to pick up hearts where I can find them. I don't know what's dropping them, but... Maybe it can only happen once per room. That, that, that makes sense. Should be a shame, but... That makes sense. For what's going on right now. But I think we've pretty much got this in the bag. Uh, I do need to be careful, because obviously I can die. It's unlikely, but I could. <laughs> I like the way that when he's in this mode, he actually takes knockback from us. There's so many tears about here. Luckily, Leprosy's doing a good job of keeping us safe as well. Yes, the knockback is, uh, is getting pretty crazy. You are, you are, he isn't taking as much damage as I thought he would, though, I'll be honest. I kind of thought we'd be Shrekking him, but I don't feel like we quite are. What, what are you doing? I 
Like, like I say, a few of these have to be dropping uh, parts here. There's a tumor in there as well. Yeah, this character's so good when there's just like abundance of enemies to kill. You basically just can't die. Ain't no stab vendors now. We could teleport out if we wanted to, but I feel at this point we are too close to a kill. It feels a bit, a bit silly to do so. There's two of you now. Ah, there you are. Oh, come on now. You've got such low health. Just stay still for a bit. I love this the fact that we got this Technology Zero tainted version that really made the difference. Okay, there you go. We got him. I said we got him and then he zoomed off. Oh, for God's sake, man. You have such little health. Just die. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was a beautiful return to form and exactly the sort of run that I was looking to have. I mean, Tainted Maggie is a bit brainless at the best of times, but this was a truly brainless run that I could really just sit back, relax, and enjoy. So I'm appreciative that the game gave me this. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.